No. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a cheat sheet. I'll tell you what cheat sheets have done and what they haven't. So anyways, if we're going to graph this, right, we want to find them being, we want to find the value k that makes them continuous. You go in right two, up three. Graph that. Looks something like this. Here, we're going down, we're going right three. It's going to be shifted down. Now let's just pretend again, as I mentioned, k is zero. If that was the case, the graph would look like this. Correct? Okay. Now, what we have is this graph is only true for x is less than or equal to 1. So we go to 1, and we'd say, all right, anything less than 1 is going to be to the left of that. And then anything greater than 1, or in this graph, is for x is greater or equal to 1. So it'd be like down here and look like this. Now, you guys can see these graphs are not continuous, right? I mean, there's a jump discontinuity here. So k being 0 is not going to make them continuous. So what we want to do is find the value k that makes them continuous. Does that make sense? So we know, what does k do in this equation? k is going to be shifting the graph up or down, right? So how far? Should k be 1? Well, let's move it up 1. Nope. 2? No. Well, we don't want to go down that route, guys. It's going to take us all day. And especially, I'm giving you guys something that's easy enough that you guys can visualize it, but not so easy that you can just find the answer, correct? But you guys know k needs to keep on getting higher and higher, correct? So what we want to do is, if the, in the perfect world, if these are going to be continuous, our graph is going to look something like this, right? We got to shift it up k, so therefore it's continuous, correct? Now, when it is continuous, at 1, what do we know about these two equations? These two graphs are now, at 1, what are they? Starts with an E and rhymes with equal. 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 Would you guys agree, at 1, these two equations are equal? So guess what? Algebraically, guys, when we know two quantities are equal, why don't we write an equation then that represents that? At 1, we can say x minus 2 squared plus 3 equals negative x minus 3 squared plus k. But again, where do, we want, where do they have to be equal at? One. When what equals 1? X. x equals 1. Do we have an x where we could plug 1 in for? Yes. yes. So 1 minus 2 squared plus 3 equals negative 1 minus 3 squared plus k. Now we can go ahead and solve for k. So therefore, we get negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, plus 3 equals 1 minus 3 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is positive 4, minus 4 plus k. 1 plus 3 is 4, and then plus 4, so that's going to be 8 equals k. And would that make sense based on the graph that I erased? If you shifted that up 8, that kind of makes sense, right? It's not like negative 200, so that seems reasonable based on the graph that we saw. Okay? But the main important thing I want you guys to understand 